We have our force or our energy coming in. We have our fulcrum in the middle and our load on one side. So what we're going to do for the purpose of this demonstration, Jimmy's body is going to be the load. Here's our load. Yeah. If he grabs me, instead of escaping the lock, now you'll often see when people try to do like an arm pass, or they try to do like a little elbow jam and go. If he's got a little bit of contraction here, he's a bit strong. If I pull on his elbow and push with his hand, I put a lot of force there. And he's quite stable. And his structure tries to starts to change. Because where's my fulcrum here? What is it? Where's my force? I got two forces and no fulcrum. But instead of doing that, I say, look, I'm going to make the elbow, just to follow class one, load, fulcrum in the middle, force on the end. So instead of fighting with this, I'm just going to decide to keep his elbow static, commit to that, and all of my force is going to come from my hand. It's a world of difference, right? Basic, basic catch in Greco is when I go here, I don't fight with both because it causes him to brace. I stop and I push with the wrist. Make sense? Very easy example to work from. I can be in a hand fight, I can be down here. You see so many guys, and then what happens, of course, is the better the guy is, the more adaptable he is. I apply force in two angles. He starts to loop around, he grabs, he starts you know, doing all sorts of things because I've loaded his catapult. I've made him explode with elasticity. So I'd rather you know, grab his gi, grab his skin, and grab it. whatever it is. I don't know. I'm not picky, I'm not partial. I can do the smallest motion. I could go back to working with my long lever here. So I'm still doing that last escape, but now I'm neutralizing the fulcrum at the elbow. This is the full. Now I'm out, right? But even that same pain-inducing hold with long leverage, if I start moving both, becomes less effective when I get all messed up. So we slow it down. He squeezes as hard as he wants. He keeps his arm bent. Draw deep position. He keeps it here. Watch. Let me switch grips for a second. Too strong. I switch it. Yeah, there we go. Like this. So I can do the same work. Here, if I force both, I'm actually I'm going into a skeleton. There's no way I'm going to win. I just stop it. That's the fulcrum. That's the force. Does that make sense? We do for a while, seven, eight minutes, it's not supposed to be complex, it's supposed to be easy, and we want to identify, man, I have a bad tendency to force with everything and Hulk smash, yeah? Want to smarten it up a little bit, slow it down. That's it, enjoy, nice and easy. Class one lever, the example. Like Stabilize. A lot of styles will teach that dynamic, both moving at the same time, but then it's, I have my car jack, and it's like lifting the car up with the jack. I have no problem. So, how much harder is it doable? Yeah, how much harder is it? It's because if you, I mean, you do not, so you don't cheat. Force, and bend it, brace your arm as hard as it, that's where your arm wants to be. That's where you're, you're stable. Uh, so if, I, if I go with bow, right, and as soon as I decide, look, in the action, to relinquish the other, it just stabilizes. You feel it, right? You can feel, look. And I can go in full muscle and then just decide to lock one and it immediately works like a sneeze. Hard as you want. So, look. It can be this soft. It's hard. No, don't don't always. Yeah. So look, if I try to straighten you, equal force. And people say, oh, it's because you're going long. Don't go long. Look, I can win, but it's a lot of muscle. I just lock it, and I move that through. And everything from there, I will not hurt you anyway. You lock as hard as you want. See, I, do, I don't want to hurt you. I said, look, I go for his legs. I move out. Or I take this and I, I go for his back. Or I check for a weapon. Or I, even if I want to do this, he's going to brace here and here. So I block it and I start to move and I get into position. You guys will try to do this all the time. I keep it nice and soft. I do this. It's beautiful. Now, honestly, if you're resisting, the trunk's going to, this is going to stop. That's going to block it. Your torso is never going to happen. As soon as I walk in here, this structure fails you first. And so if you just start to think of it, I slap it, but I don't bite you. I'm just going to shock you so that this doesn't... Basic mechanics. There.